In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Yeroy wallet. And you can see up here in the upper left hand corner, you'll go to this address, make sure it has the secure symbol. You want to go to download. I'm going to download Chrome Mainnet. Okay. Now you have a video here you can watch. I'm going to go ahead and add it to Chrome here. Add extension. It's already been added to my Chrome here. You can see the symbol there. If it disappears, you'll see it in your list here for extensions. So I'm going to go ahead and click Uroy. Okay, I'm going to choose English. Read the agreement. And I will agree. Continue. And then I will choose Advanced. I will activate the Cardano payment URLs. Okay, I'm going to finish. Okay, we have several options here. We can connect to a hardware wallet, we can create a wallet, or restore a wallet. I'm going to create a brand new wallet. I'm going to choose the platform that's listed Cardano. I'm going to input a wallet name. I'll use a ticker symbol of our pool. Put in a spending password twice, and this is what you'll need for your transactions. Store it in a secure place, but have access to it because you're going to need it whenever you're doing different types of transactions with uh, ADA. So I'm going to create personal wallet. It's going to give me 15 random words. I'll need to write these down in the order that they give them to me, stored in a safe place. And it will check to make sure that uh, I have those written down properly. So I'm going to continue. Okay, I paused the video while I recorded my 15 words. Check these two boxes. I will confirm. Okay, now we have a wallet that is created. So here's our transaction windows. Of course, we don't have any. It's just a brand new wallet. Our send tab, our receive tab, dashboard, which shows us that we have zero ADA, and then we have not delegated any ADA yet. So to delegate, we'll go to the delegation tab, but I will have to add some ADA to this wallet. So I'll be right back. Okay, now you can see I've added 10 ADA to the wallet. So to delegate it, it's very easy to do. We'll go to the delegation tab. Now we need the stake pool ID. In the Daedalus wallet, we actually use the ticker symbol. In this case, we have to go get the ID from the stake pool we want to delegate to. So we're gonna to go to Cardano pool tool right here. Make sure you have the secure symbol again here. It's pooltool.io. And you have about a thousand pools to choose from. I'm going to use the pool that we maintain called Champ. And you'll see there's two. This is a legacy one here without the check mark. So if you do delegate with us, you'll want to choose the one with the check mark that has live staking going on. This is actively running right now. So the pull tool ID is right here. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to the wallet. I'm going to paste the ID into this stake pool ID box. Okay, recognized it. The full name of our stake pool is Champata. Um, so it shows it here or any, uh, or any pool that you've actually chosen. So I'm going to hit next and there's a transaction fee that's going to cost uh, 2.17 ADA of fees. So I'll subtract it from the balance of your wallet. I will put my spending password in that we wrote down earlier. It's stored in a safe place and then I will delegate. Okay, it's going to take me to the dashboard page. I can see, even though it's showing 10, the transaction will be completed in a minute. It'll subtract that transaction fee from my wallet. So, and there it goes. You can see now that my total delegated has changed to the proper amount. So now we're delegated and uh, we can collect rewards as transactions are processed by the pool that you stake with. Be sure to hit the like button and we'll see you in the next video.